Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Velo Harmony. I've got a product today I want to introduce to you guys. Um, we do a lot of talking on the channel about writing and training. You know, I got a lot of people that I coach and with them, I talk to them about how they need to recover, how, you know, certain times of the year you do certain kinds of training, like base training now, and then you ramp it up later so that you're not hammering yourself the whole year so that your body gets a chance to recover so you can improve. Well, part of the things that help recovery besides the carbohydrate, electrolyte drinks and other things that you may eat and making sure you get a meal within two hours, compression socks. I got this from a company called MD. I will put the link down there. Um, they, the, they call this the MD Performance Socks G Force Compression. I got it in blue because, of course, you know my thing with the ultramarine color. They gave me a choice of which color to get it in to do the review. And black was not available. The reason being, as you guys know, black is a popular color in cycling because it's very practical. That's why I wear black bibs. And that's why most of you probably have black bibs. So I didn't get a choice or I would have picked black. But my second choice of preference is blue. And so they, they sent it uh, along with some uh, socks, which uh, they didn't ask me to do a review on the socks. The socks are made out of bamboo. Um, it's like, it, you know, I don't know how you get bamboo to get into socks, but it, it, it was kind of positive to see that they're using natural things to create socks and the socks were very very comfortable uh, in fact as soon as the socks since they were gifts as soon as they showed up uh, i gave one to my wife and my teenage daughter got one because uh, one of them were cut so low they were like the old tennis socks where you wear them and you can't even see the socks they're below your ankle bone my teenage daughter loves that kind of stuff you know i like my socks to show and then my wife grabbed a pair and so I'm just going to show it briefly here. These are the socks. They're made out of bamboo. Um, once I put the link there and you go to the, 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 the page on Amazon, they've got other products in there, I'm sure. And maybe they'll send us other things to review. But these are not for cycling per se. They're not very thin. I mean, you could probably wear them in the winter and cycle with them. They're not super thick or anything. They're very nice. I, I like to wear socks in the winter around the house. To just keep my legs warm, especially after a ride. I put on long socks. I wear compression socks. And then I put on tights. Uh, well, they're not really tights like we cycle in. They're almost like tights, like running tights. To just keep my muscles warm. That helps in recovery. And that leads into the reason why these are nice to have. The price point is $9.99. It's a deal. Because... I haven't tried these, but I read all the stuff on Amazon that they have. And their style is a little different because you can use this to support your shins. Like if you have shin splints. So whether you're a runner or cyclist or whatever, they had all that stuff on there. And I was like, wow, this is a nice product. Let me introduce it to the guys. This is the color I got. It's not a sock that goes over your heel or on your foot. You know, it, 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 it's not like you wear a regular sock. So you would need to be wearing socks that, you know, in addition to this, this covers your calf and all the way down close to your ankle. And that's that, that area, the compression will release the toxins and get it back to your heart, especially if you sit with your feet elevated. That's when I use my compression stuff. When I'm lying around watching videos or if I'm editing videos, I put my feet up on the side. That's when I wear my compression socks because they really work. So I'm going to put these on to see what they look like, see what they feel like. But these are made by a company called MD, MD G-Force Compression. $9.99 a pair, very good price point. They're very light. They're very breathable. You could probably wear them and ride. I don't usually wear compression socks to ride. I wear them after I ride or after I run or after I do any kind of workout. And it, it really is a good way. Once you're, once you're over 30 or something, your recovery is not like it was when you were in your 20s or your teens. 
That's just a natural thing. So you use these to help you cheat for the time and be ready to go the next day, especially if you've got back-to-back -back rides. So I'm going to put these on right here. Let me move this stuff. I want to actually wear it so you can see it. So I put on some regular socks already because th these don't cover your foot. They're like a sleeve. And uh, they're nice and tight, but they're light. Uh, I really like them because the ones I have are very thick. They size them per your calf circumference. So I measured my calf. It was 14 and a half inches. And that, that's a medium in their product. So if you're going to get them, make sure you get the size right because it needs to fit you properly for it to do the job. They're, nice, they're tight getting on because they're designed to go up your leg and not really on your foot. So all you do is I kind of roll them together and just this is what you do. You bring them up. Since the calf is it's the biggest muscle that we use, I mean, as far as on this side, this part of the leg for cycling, if you're behind anybody when you're riding, you can see the contractions in the calf. So it does a lot of work. And this bad boy just, oh. This is great. This is good. So this, this is like, if you're going to ride with these, like for me, this would be too obvious to ride with. It's like I'm announcing to everybody on the road that I've got compression socks on or some wild looking socks. I mean, they don't really say compression socks, but I, I, I don't think I would ride in them. I may run in them if I had like, you know, I used to do track and I used to have shin splints. These provide great support. You see me rubbing on them again because something about these uh, uh, fabrics that they're coming up with, whether it's uh, elastane or polyester or whatever, they're just slick. And they just feel like, <laughs> like you've got massage oil on your leg or something. <laughs> you know, it's just, just it, your hands just slide over them. Uh, I like, I've never had the compression socks sized to my calf and I feel a difference. Uh, when they, they sent me an email with the link to the product to see what I would consider bringing into you guys. I clicked on the link. I looked at it and I said, yeah, cause I use these. So I have other compression socks. They're heavier, the thicker. This is lighter, but yet very compressive. Um, uh, it's hard to describe. I'm definitely going to be wearing it tonight because I'm going to do a workout today. This is Wednesday and I do a workout around lunchtime. So I'm going to be wearing it later because it feels really good. It's cool on the skin. So my leg is not heating up. My other compression socks that I have, when I use them, they're worn. This one, I don't know how they did it, but it, it, it feels cool against the skin. Um, let me put on the other one because I want you to see how both of them look. They're tight getting them on, um, but I can see why. But they feel good. You, you could wear these all day long and walk around. That's what I do with the other ones. I put them on and I walk around doing other things around, you know, in my office, whatever. And uh, by the end of the day, when I take them off, your legs feel like that you've relieved them. So... The fact that this is lightweight, breathable, because I feel it. It's breathable. It's more breathable than the other one. This has moved to the top of the heap. I will be using this. I'm glad I got it in this blue that's close to the ultramarine. That's what Rafa calls them anyway. In <laughs> Rafa speak. But this blue is close to the other blue I have. I will be wearing it. I will not wear it to ride because I'm not really sure how that will go because I've never done that with any compression socks and those of you who have them or have ridden with them you can share your experiences below uh, because I don't really know maybe I'll do it on a recovery ride or something that might be a, that that will make sense um, but uh, you could wear them to ride I, I, I've got them on and I don't feel hot if I had the other ones that I have they're thick these are lightweight I'm going to move the camera down so you can see. So 
So I really want to show you what they look like. I don't know, maybe I should move back a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Move back here. You can see what they look like. I got them in blue. So if I were to wear these out, I would probably wear like my blue jersey or blue cap. Just make it all blue, blue and black, you know. But uh, you could wear them to ride. I don't by, by choice. I, I haven't with the other ones that I had. They were just too heavy and they were a complete sock. Uh, this thing just feels nice right now as I stand. Uh, my experience with compression socks, I would put them on and elevate my legs so that they can get all the toxins after a workout out of your muscles and get flushed out and then get blood pumped back into your muscle for recovery. So I just wanted to show you that they're made by MD. They're uh, $9.99, which is a very good price for them. They have all kinds of colors. I chose blue, as I said earlier, because they did not offer me the choice of black. It was either going to be black or this color because I like the blue. Uh, but they've got different colors on there. When you go, you will see them. Let me move the camera back up. So if you're somebody who you're having trouble after a workout, feeling fresh, Say you're busy, you, you ride and you shower and then you got to run off to work or something like that. Get a pair of these. You put this thing on while you're at work under your pants. Let them just sit there. If you're somebody who travel with uh, the airlines, I used to wear mine when I was on those airplanes. There's something about being up there at high altitude that just messes with stuff in your body. These really help. Uh, so it's something to think about, whether you're a runner, cyclist, whatever. Everybody should have one of these in the arsenal. If you're an athlete, if you do any kind of, whether you work out at the gym or whatever, you need a pair of these. They will help your muscles recover. They're really, really good. I like this to the point where I think I will retire the other one because these are very breathable. I'm standing here and my body, my leg has not felt like it's hot. The other ones, when I put them on, they're hot and they're thick. This is a thin Whatever is made of polyelastane. Let me see what if they put on here. It says uh, on the back of the pack, it says power compression for better performance. It offers strong compression to the calf for added muscle protection. Graduated compression helps increase blood circulation for faster recovery. Helps re reduce calf cramps and lower leg injury. Probably when you're running. And, you know, shin splints and stuff like that. It protects the leg from scratches and abrasions doing trail running. Well, the, yeah, they're just covered. I think that's that's a, that's that's what I would allude that to. But what I'm feeling here to talk about graduated compression, I feel that in that down here, it's not as much as you come up the leg, you feel the compression increase. And I think that is really cool that they size it by your calf size. So you get what works for you. Yeah, you struggle a little bit getting it over your foot and your heel. But if you roll it up and just you, you get it on there. But when once it gets on here, you could leave this here all day long. You would not have a problem wearing this at work or wherever. The other ones I've been using, they're a lot thicker. And I just I can only wear them for a period of time before I have to pull them out. This one here you could leave on all day. I don't know how they did it, but this is very breathable. I'm surprised they did not mention that in here. You know, the marketing people should have put that in here. I'm standing here and I can feel the air. When I do this, I feel the air on my skin. Even though this is here, I can feel the air. And I didn't have to do this. Just standing here, I've got fans that run to keep circulation in here because when the heat runs, you know, it's still winter, I, I run the fan reverse to keep the heat down because heat rises. Just this, the fan running in the other rooms, there's always air moving around here. That's what I was feeling before I started doing this. And just fanning that here. If you get, get a pair, just do this. You will feel it. I can feel the air. I have to say I'm not wearing this. So this is a great time to be alive because they're coming up with just some awesome fabrics. If you can put something on and still feel the wind on you, yeah, you could ride in this if, if you wanted to. Um, because... You're not going to be any hotter than normal. But anyway, uh, this is the MDG Force compression socks. And I will put the link in the description here. But you need to get 
one of these in your arsenal, you know, because it definitely aids in recovery. It's not a fluke. There's a lot of athletes, whether you, you play American football, whatever, they use all kinds of different compression aids. Some people even use stuff where they have air that they pump into the thing, put the legs in it, and then it, it, it helps aid in muscle recovery. But these are really something that every athlete should have. So no matter what, don't let anything stop you. Get out there, get your caves in.